Capricorn, welcome to your uh, weekly reading for June 12th to 19th, 2021. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's a complete honor to have you here on my channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you are new here, we do weekly and monthly horoscope updates for your astrology sign in love and in life for your highest good and to help you reach your soul's purpose. If you want to join the mission to change the world by discovering and stepping into your soul's purpose, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as part of the soul family. And do me a favor, if you do resonate and find this video valuable, hit that like button as well. Helps this channel and video grow so we can guide more people. Let's get right into your channeled tarot reading for the week ahead, Capricorn. The intention for this is for your highest good generally, channeled from the divine for, uh, in love and in life through the power of unconditional love. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do it. Open the ceremony now up to myself and the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising Sun, Capricorns. Calling in the collective spirit guides, loved ones, masters, wise ones, angels, and archangels. Uh, please, Spirit, allow me to channel for the power of unconditional love for the highest good of Capricorn now and in the future. Um, for the highest good. Thank you so much. The ceremony is now officially open. Okay. Let's see what we got. June 12th to the 19th. Two of Swords. Uh, different choices, right? So different choices up in the air for you. Maybe you're realizing that there are different paths, crossroads, or choices for you to make at this current time. Possibly even things that you've known for a little while that are coming up to the surface that you now you're almost being initiated into making those choices. And you might have a couple choices on your hand, but they may feel like you're not really sure where they'll lead or you're not sure the outcome of them. And you might be kind of being swayed towards one particular path that again may seem a little bit or mostly unfamiliar but feels right but you're not quite sure or certain and the other path being a little bit more uncertain um, it also may be that you just have so many things going on that you're just like a little overwhelmed is what i'm getting to and you're just like i don't know where to go what to do anymore please someone help to guide me <laughs> that's what the feeling i'm getting for some reason here the moon cards in the back there so you're just like you know what screw it i surrender I give in. Let's just hope all it works out, right? Four of Swords, yeah. So taking some time here, and it really, it's. It, I feel it's about your next steps in purpose, your next steps in what you're building, what you're here to do, what you're here to create, what you want to create. What is it that makes you uh, authentically in aligned with yourself that you can create from yourself that would be of benefit for others and would stand the test of time it would actually be a realistic endeavor right for you to do and create uh, that would uh, help give you more freedom and stability are the words that come through there now four of swords here with the eight of pentacles you might be taking some time to reflect meditate and or ponder away from other people both the choice that you want to make the direction you want to head with your business and with your life or with with your this could be career too right but your craft your business your career i do feel that strongly though business is probably what you want to step into it's the direction collectively we're all headed for our highest good to create something of our own uh, that way we're not dependent on anyone else and we can have our freedom so you may really be taking some time out and going okay where do i want to go is this possible how's that going to be and uh, if you haven't, I recommend taking some time alone to be able to discover that. Okay, and there, out of nowhere, is the lovers. Now, while I didn't sense initially that this was uh, pointing to love or talking about love in any sort of way, you may also be at a crossroads when it comes to your love life and your love situation and what you want to do, where you want to go when it comes to this love situation or a person so you may not be sure right when it comes to love or a person if you are wanting to stay with them if you're wanting to move somewhere else if you wanted to continue on the journey if you're not um you're kind of up in the air about it maybe tossing it around there also could have been someone who, co who came into your life who you're like hmm, i wonder if they're meant to be a part of my journey or not um Generally, I do feel still to tell you, right, regardless of this decision you might feel you need to make or trust in your gut around the decision to make when it comes to love and life. Um, one, you can't choose wrong because if something's meant for you, it will find you always. Um, and number two, uh, the path that is tending towards you and your own development, your own sense of security and foundation is likely going to be from what I can feel the more harmonious one that's prioritizing the self versus the other here. 
Um, so you may have to make a little pivot when it comes to the track that you're on in divine love in terms of maybe you had plans to come together with someone by now or to be in love or to have a relationship or to just be in union. And that might be a, a needing to take a different direction or pivot possibly away from it uh, in order to prioritize yourself or other things you have going on. Wow, Ace of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Very beautiful uh, spread here. Overall, I would say. Ooh, okay. So there, there's that caveat. I was wondering, I'm like, hmm. You know, I don't really sense. I'm like, okay, what's going on here? So Eight of Swords with the blind. Uh, obviously, this woman has a blindfold here, the cast in the back. Um, the thing that's, that's here is like, there's definitely a divine partner, okay, that exists for you uh, in your life. All right. Now this could be a twin flame that, you know, could be someone and someone's energy that you can feel that you ultimately would want to end up with or be with. There's a life that you have with someone else. Ultimately, there's life you have in partnership in divine union with someone here, ultimately that you are destined for, okay. That you're meant for eight of swords tells me something about this. You may or may not have been kind of not being willing to look at or not willing to kind of see for the truth of what it is because you know that you've had a lot going on right that you've been busy you've been focusing on yourself on your craft on your business on your job and it's understandable and so you may have wanted to push love away or push love to the side for the time being in order to focus on those things and your own self excitement and passion but spirit is just basically saying um this is still here <laughs> like hello i'm love uh, and it's saying like, it's in the middle of your spread for God's sakes. Like it's just a glaringly here and apparent. Um, and that, that is still, if you are wanting that in your own life, that is still the track you're on in some way, shape or form. It's almost like love is leading you right through all of this track and this path and this destiny to go this certain pivoted way for the time being to focus on your soul's purpose and yourself and to build something of meaning and value ultimately in order to end up in partnership with someone who's doing the exact same thing on the same track as you. That's the destiny here that I can see. Um, so eight of swords is saying, well, you know, you may have wanted to or needed to, wow, 10 of, look at this. Didn't even see this 10 of cups in the bottom of the deck. So this is ultimate destiny of, of the best divine love you could possibly experience. By the way, Capricorn, I just want to say you deserve it. You deserve it for the hardship, the sacrifice, the, the lessons you've gone through. You, de you deserve this. I know you know that. And this is what is coming. This is what is on its way. You don't have to worry about whether or not it's coming. Okay. It's, it's right here in the middle of your spread. It's here. Now, this is a weekly reading. I don't sense it's coming in this week, <laughs> right? But I want you to know that spirit is affirming to you that it's there, okay? That you deserve it and you will receive it in your life when the time is right. The truth will be told, okay? And this person is going to basically coming come right into your life without warning, uh, maybe even excitedly or rushing in to be your divine partner for good, for keeps. So you won't have to worry about it. Now, Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and Eight of Swords here. Yeah, the feeling I'm getting is how do you balance you know, your self, um, the word I'm getting is self preservation or self identity, self focus, self empowerment with having an open heart, queen of cups. Okay. Being open to love. How do you balance those two things? Right. It may seem like, Oh, well, if love's not here, if it's not ready. If this person's not ready, if, uh, this situation's not ready, then I got to close it down, shut it out. But it's almost asking you in a weird way to allow your openness of your heart to this love and potential divine union with someone from your future to guide your way and to allow you to be excited for the potentiality that lie for you with you by your side. That's what I would say is that this is saying, don't be afraid to keep your heart open as you progress forward with your life purpose and make the decisions that are necessary to bring you to your, your individual life purpose to build something of security, of abundance, of stability for your whole life, for you. Um, don't be afraid to have an open heart in your pursuit of that because it will actually help to guide you along the way and keep you excited, give you the passion, the enthusiasm, the drive to do so. Okay. So eight of swords uh, here, be sure to, right? Be sure to have a willingly open look at the truth of what you desire in your heart, what you feel is true, what you feel that you want, and what you feel is destined for you in terms of love specifically. 
the rest will come uh, very, very naturally. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck again, right? Empress card, 10 of cups there. So this is again, uh, divine love, divine love, divine partnership, family, kids, home, wife, husband, all those types of things. And I, for some reason, got like ceremony, wedding, and, and truth being told and just spoke the spoken word of truth here and wedding. All right. That's the words I'm getting here. Uh, for whatever reason, the Ace of Swords doesn't even, you know, look like that, but it, for me, for some reason, wedding here. Chariot, Knight of Wands, Hanged Man, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands. So, but there is there is a uh, purpose for sure uh, and truth to be uh, displayed or put out for the world, for the public, for others uh, on your behalf as part of your mission to uh, pursue, uh, pr to pursue and to take care of first. But I guess for your own reward for doing all of that, because you deserve it, Capricorn, you will deserve it even more. Remember what it is that you are deeply, deeply desiring, holding within your own heart and soul for what you want for the future when it comes to love, because you will have it. Capricorn, that's what I have for you for your weekly reading here. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did and you want to join the soul family, step into your higher purpose through the power of true love, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. And do me a favor, hit that like button if you enjoyed and found this content of value. It helps this channel and video grow so we can guide more people. Come join us for a weekly Sunday reading. Every Sunday at 1 p.m. we have a true love collective reading here on YouTube live at 1 p.m. Pacific. We'd love to see you there. Uh, but if not, we'll still love you too. <laughs> we'll still love you too. Thanks again for joining Capricorn. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.